what happened was I was uh, I was out one day on a on a nicking spree, you know, hoisting we call it, you know, you know, on the rob. August fifteenth, nineteen ninety seven. First time we met. Yeah, like I said, I was out I was out robbing on a nicking spree. Yeah, right. And what I had in mind was to crash my car through the front window of this music shop, Uncle Norm's Keyboard Emporium. It was called. It was the local shop basically that sold all the keyboards. And what I thought was I would just crash through the front and then steal a bunch of the keyboards, you know, and form a new band. It was the shop I was working in. So I crashed the car through the window and it landed straight in 2D's head. Amazing, direct hit. Knocked one of his eyes straight out. It, yeah, the first one, uh, it didn't come out. It was pushed inward, fractured. God, that did hurt. Put him in a coma immediately. I got arrested for that, yeah? And uh, my community service, my sentence, was to look after this silly sod. I don't know what I did wrong. Obviously, I abused that position and took the opportunity to bully him to within an inch of his catatonic life. So, one time when we were mucking about in a car park in Nottingham... ..and I was pulling a whole load of very snazzy 360-degree doughnuts... Uh, I had a proper burn on them. I was getting some good smoke off the tyres. The girls that were standing around, they were really impressed, so you know, I just thought I'd take it up a notch. Yeah. Took my foot off the brake and went for a grand finale. I was probably hitting about 90 when 2D got catapulted through the windscreen. He flew about 500 yards, landing face first on a curb. Uh, and I think it was that second car accident that uh, actually brought him back round, yeah? Because uh, it knocked his other stupid eye out. Uh, but I'll tell you what, when he stood up really slowly, his back was still towards me, and really slowly turned around like one of the zombies in those films he watches, and there were no eyes, just two black holes, a vacant stare. Oh, it looked great. Tall, pretty, blue spiky hair. No eyeballs? No eyeballs. I knew that he had to be the front man. 